hi and welcome to celebrate Ryan's first soberversary and giveaway hop. We are crafters coming together to celebrate Ryan at Glitter Grunge Greeting who is celebrating his first year soberversary. You're going to see in my description box I will have a link to the next person in the hop and also I will have a link to everybody that's participating in the hop. I want to encourage you to make sure you check out every person in the hop. Make sure you comment on all of their videos, subscribe to all their channels, and give them a thumbs up. There will be a grand prize given um, of all the people that comment on all the videos, and that grand prize will be selected on or around October 10th on Ryan's channel, Glitter Grunge Greetings. I will have the link to his channel in my description box. When I pulled together this hop, I was thinking about rainbows and celebrations, because I know Ryan loves rainbows and I decided that I would pull out the distress oxide ink sprayers to play with and there's a couple different ways you can use distress oxide sprays you can spray them on your glass media mat and then sort of smush your what I'm making tags by the way into the ink or you can spray them like in a splatter box so I combined a little bit of both in my technique um, in the end Either way you do it is fine. I'm sure there's a lot of other ways to do it, but these were the two ways that I decided to make my tags. I have four different tags all together, and you're going to see a lot of the process that I use to make my large tag. And I have this stencil, and I know that it's just a generic stencil. It has some words on it, and I took some black soot distress ink. So yeah, I have distress oxide as my base and then I'm using distress inks for some of the decorating and I and that word hope and then this one is called brush corduroy and it's it's this other stencil that I had on my stash I don't know the name of it but it's just basically circles and I just highlighted a couple of those circles on the edge and then I thought no I'm not really sure that I want circles the whole way through so I just did a couple more circles and then I grabbed my other stencil that I'm going to use. This is a stencil that I'm pulling out right now. It's from Whimsy Stamps and it's like little stars. And I used that more and I just went ahead with my brush corduroy and basically it's creating a nice little watermark in the background. But it's a pretty cool stencil. I like it. And it goes pretty well with this tag that I'm designing. And basically I just pulled out a bunch of supplies and started playing around there really was much not much rhyme or reason this is a Tim Holtz stamp set I don't have that many Tim Holtz but Ryan really loves everything Tim Holtz so I wanted to make sure that I pulled out my very few Tim Holtz products that I have and decorated with that and I'm going to be um, well, I was going to heat emboss, but then I didn't end up heating embossing. I actually just go ahead and use um, some archival ink to stamp the images. Oh, actually, this is Versafine Claire. First, I use Versafine Claire, and then I think I switch over to Catherine Pooler Midnight Archival Ink. But so far, so good. I like the way this looks. I like the way that you could see the rainbow in the background and of course the word hope anybody who is living in um, long-term recovery you know knows how important it is to have hope for the for a new day and hope for the future and leaning on your friends and your family for hope whenever you seem to have lost hope and so yeah what I did was I grabbed the Catherine Pooler archival ink this is just an eraser that I picked up from Amazon that I'm using in my hand just to get better contact and pressure. And I'm just going and stamping these really neat images onto the front of the tag. So if you're not familiar with Ryan's channel, you've got to check it out. Glitter Grunge Greetings. He has a YouTube channel and he also has Instagram. So his YouTube channel he started it and within a month he had a thousand subscribers I mean he'd only made like 17 videos and he had a thousand subscribers he's going to be doing a live for the first time next week so you want to check that out 
and he does a lot of distress type projects but he also um you know likes things sparkly and glittery too so that's why his channel is called glitter grunge greetings he also has an etsy shop where you can purchase his cards uh, that he made if, if you're interested in that sort of thing but uh Ryan is part of our FSC admin design team. If you're not familiar with FSC, it's a private Facebook group that you can join. I will have the link below in the description box. And on that group, we, uh, we've got over a thousand subscribers or followers or whatever it's called on Facebook. And we share ideas and information. We have a lot of great tips and tricks on how to foil and Nancy stamps uh, and and I created that FSC group and we have several really great uh, administrators we've got Stacy who has her own YouTube channel SNR creations from the heart we've got Chow and her YouTube channel is create with Chow We've got other people who are part of our community that have started YouTube channels as a result of being a part of FSC. It's really, really exciting. And I just want to thank everybody that participated in the hop, the other YouTube creators that were willing to be a part of this. This is our first hop for FSC. And I'm hoping that we'll have more hops in the future. But I really just want to say thank you to those who, you know, were brave enough to venture out with us to do this first hop. Um, everybody was excited to support Ryan. He is so talented and so artistic. Um, it just comes naturally to him. He definitely has a lot of ability and a lot of um, talent. So you don't want to miss what he has to offer. I can't stress that to you enough. I also am pulling out some of my other stamp sets here. I used um, some Gina K silhouette trees on my tag and I'm just fiddling around here trying to see if there are other stamps that I could possibly use just to cover up some of the space on my tag. And honestly, this little brush shrub that I'm using, I don't know what stamp set this comes from because it's old and it's from my stash from a long time ago and it doesn't have a name it was it was sort of like one of those generic ones it might have been a silicone one that I got from one of those magazines that you could buy like at Joann's or Michael's that has stamp and papers and whatnot in it but it's been really great being part of this hop getting to know some of our new um, FSC members some of the people that are on this hop I met through other hops that I've been in along the way and they've um, got well over a thousand subscribers some are new and maybe you know are still striving to get to a hundred or a couple hundred so um, I just want to encourage you to make sure that you watch all the videos in the hop please subscribe to all the channels um, make sure you leave a comment on all the videos and um, give us a thumbs up we appreciate you more than you'll ever know. We definitely want to do more hops in the future. And depending on what kind of response we get, we'll determine whether we do more hops in the future. This is Avery L. Shimmer Spray that I'm spraying my tag with right now. And it just gives it a lot of sparkle, which I know Ryan really likes. Um, regarding the hops in the future, I don't know when our next one will be held. But if you are interested in being a part of a future hop, just let me know in the comments below and I'll make a list of people who are interested. Um, this hop does have a prize. It's a mystery prize. Ryan has been squirreling things away in his stash to be given away as part of the prize. Not only for this hop, but for other things that he's doing with his channel. And um, I lost a lot of footage here. I made these smaller tags and I lost a lot of footage. So I'm just going through really quickly and showing you some of the products that I used to create these smaller tag. Because I'm fast forwarding this section, I'm not going to be able to name every single thing. 
but the tag that I just showed you on the back, that's a visible image stamp that I used and it's called uh, Look Forward with Hope. And that panel that I'm holding right now, I'm showing you how I used my Distress Oxide sprays and I then used my Catherine Polar Celebrate dies and trim them using that Distress Oxide panel. And then I went through with the Wow Embossing Powder by Catherine Polar and I went with my Chip Sapphire Distress Ink and I distressed the edges up on each tag. And I think that Chip Sapphire looks really nice. I also added some gems to some of the tags and I think it turned out really good. I'm going to show you again here um, some of the products that I used to create and it's coming up here in a second. The first stamp set is the uh, visible image stamp set. Look forward with hope. I also pulled this Simon Says stamp set. It's called Hope Blooms and I used the word hope and the little tag anchors the soul on the back of two of my tags. So here you have a look at the finished product. I'm going to have some still shots now of some of close-ups of the tags that I created. I hope you like what I created, Ryan. Um, I'm going to be sending these to you. I want to thank everybody that participated in the hop and for all of you that are watching. Um, don't forget to make sure you check out Ryan's channel and check out all of the videos in the hop. Make sure that you comment, like, and subscribe for your chance to win what's probably going to be a fantastic prize packet. Thanks, everyone. Have a hopeful day. Bye-bye.